It's week one of the National Football League, and there's no love lost between these NFC East foes. It's the Voyagers and the Wizards on Sunday night. With the skyline of Manhattan as our backdrop, we are across the East River in the fabled borough of Brooklyn, New York. Tonight, it's the Sunday night opener of the 2023 NFL season, as it'll be the Voyagers of Paris taking on the Wizards of Brooklyn. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, it's all led to this moment when they officially kicked this one off to get the season underway. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Kevante Turpin now to return and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the eighth year passer two time pro bowler from Mississippi State Dak Prescott. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever, and that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Prescott. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Prescott. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. And again, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going. Because if so, they're hard to deal with, and it makes for a long evening. First down, Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On second down, Prescott again. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. As beautiful plays like that, forcing that incompletion. Third down, it's Prescott. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 yards through the air and a first down. This is shaping up to be a really nice looking drive to get the season underway here. And how long do you think that they actually have been plotting this drive? I'm talking about the coaching staff, right? They've been thinking about this for a while now, and I think they're executing it even better than what they expected. Nifty move, wiggles free, and he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. It's second and 7 from the 9. Now Prescott. That's to the pylon and incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but he 
It's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And his kick here is good. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're brought out by a fifth-year pro coming off a career season as a passer and a runner. It's Danny Dimes, Daniel Jones. We knew about the great mind coming out of Duke, and we saw the athletic ability and the potential. Watching it all come together and get better with each passing year, that's been fun. He can throw it deep, throw it short, and, of course, take off out of the pocket and beat you with his legs as well. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run it again with Barkley. He takes this for three to the 29. Now a third and six. It's a game of three. Brings up third and six. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and 10. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Meanwhile, Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And a moment here to recognize a nice milestone for Dak Prescott. That last throw puts him over 25,000 yards passing for his career. Not too bad for a fourth-round pick. And congratulations to Dak on what has been a solid career thus far. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Now a second and ten. Prescott now from the 50. He gets it to Cooks. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. To throw is Prescott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. From the 24 now, here's second and five. Here's Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Prescott yet again. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit to the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. To the sideline and incomplete. But following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of the new season. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside for a moment. His kick is good, and that will make it six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but six nothing. So field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Throwing Jones. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell. And it's third down. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Fielded just inside the 30. Oh, look at the juke. Now a hit and a loose football. And they are going to set up shot at the 40-yard line. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there. They were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there. And it winds up incomplete. Anger is on to punt and he gets this one away. With it is Jackson. It'll be a net of only 30 here. 40-yard punt, 10 on the return. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, you think about what it's taken to get to this point. The Giants and the Jets, obviously historic franchises, shared the stadium for years, never felt fully right. Well, now you got two New York teams with two different homes. And this team in Brooklyn, I'll tell you what, walking in, seeing the excitement on the fans' faces, they are ready to embrace a team here in Brooklyn. 
And this should be a fun experience to watch unfold. Here's Jones to throw on third down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. On is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Well, Paris offense out to have another go at it. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Prescott from the gun. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Prescott from the gun on third. And that is incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Second quarter now, it's Brooklyn in possession. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. From the gun on third down, Jones. This one incomplete, probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. Jamie Gillen now on to punt. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return. Well, Paris offense out to have another go at it. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. The offense on third down today. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A 40-yard punt, no return. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and ten. They begin with a run by Barkley. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. 
A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Brings up second and seven at the 34-yard line. Here's Pollard again. And he'll get this up to about the 40. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Prescott to throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. That kick, by the way, Charles, a career long. Well, we did watch him in pregame, and he hit from this distance, so not a surprise. But there still is something exciting about it, carrying it over from practice in pregame to actually doing it in live action. Darnay Holmes now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 22-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. And he's got this down to the 35. And the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They keep it with Barkley on first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The first 
caught a surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. They'll run with Barkley. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. A solid pick up of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. A first down carry for Barkley. A gain of three, second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It's a loss of two. Brings up third down and eight. On third down, Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they got it inside the 10 at the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there, because when you're trailing, and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You gotta make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Off the play fake, Jones. He's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Cade York on now for the field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. York able to send this one through. And they are on the board. It's now 9-3. So from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two-minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before they have. And he returns this to the 22. Offense back out there. We shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. On second down, it's Pollard. And a nice one past the 30-yard line there. 60 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. And that's complete to Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Prescott now. 
A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think mean, it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup, and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Now Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way in for the touchdown. Brandon Cooks. 33 yards. And the Voyagers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. That time a nine-play drive. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Back out comes this offense now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. here as they fail to connect on third. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try and figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. 
And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. This offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Jones slow, complete here to Waller. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Jones. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now Jones, this is caught by Robinson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and ten. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Oh, nice move. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 82 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. On second down, here's Barkley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And a loss of three to bring up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Cade York on now for the field goal. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. York able to send this one through. And the lead is down to 10 now at 16-6. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game. But so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. And when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, it you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Able to hit his target rim. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a second and two. Out of the gun, a give to Pollard. Shifts past him at the 45. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 yards there, first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. To throw his press gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Voyagers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise. Methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Well, the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Holmes returning from his end zone. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. It's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That goes for a gain of 31. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's second down and 10. Throwing Jones. Touchdown! Harris Campbell. 33 yards. And the Wizards are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. Yeah. 
And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Brandon Cooks and the rest of the offensive crew trotting back into place out there. He's having a day here in quarter number three. Over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here. Third quarter, we'll see what else he has in store for us. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Pressure comes and down he goes. Bobby Okereke running in and bringing him down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Prescott. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. Now he's into the clear again. And touchdown! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Voyagers are able to extend their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo. Didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Holmes returning from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked That's apart good. pass by pass. Four, Obviously, eight. they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. A first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now Jones. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed, not a good look. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll come on to kick this one away. Returnable here from the 38. Oh, what a move. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, yeah, though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. At the 47 yard line. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. 
75 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. A short one there taken in by Ferguson, and he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Pollard will take it up the gun, and he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Back now just east of Manhattan in Brooklyn. On third down, it's Prescott. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. And that is no good. And the lead will stay put at 17. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics. You'd add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. Jones throwing to start the drive. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Here's third and six. Third and six. Back to throw. Jones. Throw left side. Take it in by Slayton. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw. Jones. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackler. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Back to throw, Jones. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense they are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Brandon Cooks and the rest of the offensive crew trotting back into place out there. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans will like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. 
Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Going to run again here with Pollard. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that will work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Seven yards there and a first down. And a Paris first down. A give to Pollard, running left. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 34-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one. The first down. Here's Prescott. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Isaiah Simmons there defensively. Option play, here's Pollard. Five yards, now it's third and five. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Now a give here to Pollard. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at 6. Play action. Prescott. And it's caught. Touchdown. C.D. Lamb. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Voyagers are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. The extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Jones now throwing on first down. 
It throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. Again, he'll drop to throw. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. They'll look to throw again. This one is Slayton over the middle, and he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Throwing on second and long. Jones. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense called, able to make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now, as this one's in the air. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to pick up the pieces and get things going again. Yeah, certainly seems dire, doesn't it? But there is a silver lining, and it is hard to see so soon after that touchdown. But the game plan was definitely working. They were generating offense, had the ball beyond midfield, getting wins on each down against the defense. So they're moving it well. They just have to hang on to it. Yeah, as you said, though, probably tough to remember those good things on that last drive when it ended like it did. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw. Jones. Under pressure, and down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Here's Jamie Gillendale as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. 
And they run the option on second down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. First down, Voyager. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division here in week one. And to come through with a 1 0 start division opponent gives you a little something extra getting forward for the rest of the season. You just pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Paris, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Brooklyn, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.